The top trending searches of the year. Welcome back to another Text to Nation interview. I'm Fred Fishkin. With us from Google is search trends expert, Sarah Armstrong. Great to see you, Sarah. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about what some of the top searches this year were. I think there were some surprises. Let's talk overall first. There definitely were some surprises. And we're talking about searches that had the highest spike in 2021 compared to 2020. So it really tells a story of this year. And I would say that the general theme of these trends are about people in the US returning to life in person. But the trend that surprised me was that our leading search trend for this year is NBA. And at first that did surprise me because I wouldn't expect that to be at the top, but I remembered that the NBA last year, the season was so abruptly cut off. And so I'm sure folks were very excited to return to life in person and getting to see live sports again this year. What surprised me, I think, in look, looking at the list was that COVID and variants didn't make the top 10 this time, not even when it came to news searches. Right. That was interesting as well. I think it might speak to the fact that COVID was so new in 2020, and so it might not have reached the threshold of being more searched in 2021. Where we really see show COVID show up is in this near me category. So this is where folks are looking for uh, places in their area that they can search right around them. COVID does come to the top of the list there. We see COVID vaccine near me, COVID testing near me. But again, we also see a return to life in person with the rest of the trends being movies near me, bars and bowling near me. So let's talk about uh, people. Uh, yes. When it, when it comes to the most searched for people, what did you find? So the most searched for people, we see that folks are coming to Google to get updates on the biggest news stories. And so these folks are Kyle Rittenhouse, Tiger Woods, Alec Baldwin, Travis Scott, and Simone Biles, which I found interesting because I actually forgot that the Olympics were this year. And Simone definitely made big waves with making the, I thought, very brave decision to step back. You know, and uh, of course, when it came to news searches, it seems people were pretty focused on money, too, in the news categories, which was interesting. Exactly. I found that fascinating. So Mega Millions was the number one trending search in the news category. And that was because that jackpot hit a billion dollars for the first time this year. We also see AMC stock at number two, stimulus check at number three. And I found interesting that cryptocurrency made its way into that news list this year with Ethereum price and Dogecoin both making the list. So when it came to music and artists, it's looking at that those lists. Uh, a good year for Olivia Rodrigo. Tell us about it. It was an amazing year for Olivia Rodrigo. So the 18-year-old musician, she had her debut album, Sour, and three of her songs from that album make the top 10 trending songs list this year. The number one trending song on Google was Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo but we also see her song Good For You and Deja Vu on the list as well. That, that's um, three, three songs in the top 10, right? Who have a song searched for. What about TV right. shows? TV shows, it probably is not surprising that Squid Game is the top trending TV show this year. We also see Bridgerton and WandaVision making the top three. So I need to finally get around to watching Squid Game. I've been a little too scared, but I think now's the time in the how to help category, which is always, I guess, uh, consoling to look at <laughs> that so many of us are, are looking to do some good. Tell us, tell us what people searched for. Definitely. I always find it touching to see how many people come to Google searching for ways to help other people. And in this category, we see folks looking for ways to help people, both that they've never met and folks who might be in their own homes. So in those top three, we see how to help Afghan refugees, how to help Texas, and how to help COVID in India. So some of those bigger news stories. But we also see how to help a toddler with a cough, how to help foster kids, how to help somebody with depression. So both folks that you might know and those you might not. I looked at the recipes list. Cicadas are in the top 10. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. 
cicadas made the top 10 recipe list. And those are those insects that only come out, I think, every 17 years. And I do remember hearing that folks were getting dared to eat them, looking for ways to cook them. And so that made the top 10 list. The number one in that category is TikTok pasta. And this is a pasta that has feta cheese and tomato. Videos of it went viral. And so that was fun to see it as number one. And bacon, bacon jam was number two. I guess <laughs> bacon anything is no surprise to make it in there. It sounds like I need to try that one. Where can people go get, to get more info and maybe take a look at all of these lists? Because I don't, I don't know how many there are in all, but you did a bunch. There are lots of different trends this year, more categories than we can talk about today. But you can find all of them at yearinsearch.google.com. Sarah Armstrong, thank you for taking the time with us. Have a great holiday season. Thank you so much. You too.